All right, folks, it's time for another haul before the low buy, uh, low buy, before the no buy commences. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome if you're new, my name is Tyra. Today, I'm going to be showing you a collective haul that I purchased from a few different places as a final, I should say like a, a quasi final hurrah for the first few months of 2024, I'm going to be doing a no buy and I'm going to be talking about that in an upcoming get ready with me. So you should subscribe. But starting in January, I am going to be having, I'm going to be working in a job in a new city and this will require me to stay a few nights away from my standard makeup collection as well, in addition to having to get ready on the train on the way to work a few times. So I had to purchase a few things to assist with that. It's also sale season, it's a Sephora sale, so I have this a second part of my Sephora haul in here, and then I stumbled upon Miss Laura Geller. We'll get into it, but also I had a, I partake, I partook in a shopper's savings event as well, so shopper's drug mart, so I picked up quite a few items from there too. And I do want to say everything that I got, I'm not showing, first of all, I'm not showing you everything because some things are gifts and that's important to keep in mind. And some things that I am showing you are also gifts. So that's something important to keep in mind and not everything is makeup. Another thing to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with shoppers because this is the one that I got first and this is the one I've been waiting to show you for the longest. Okay, so the first thing I got from Shoppers is this cute little bag set thing. So this is an Olay gift set. So it comes with a Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Body Wash. Also, this is going to be a long video, so like prepare yourself. So it comes with a body wash. This is the 364 milliliter size. It comes with a pack of face wipes. Don't love a face wipe, but good to have in a pinch in an emergency. So this is a 25 towelette pack. It also comes with a Beauty Fluid Lotion Original, so just like a face cream, morning cream. And it also comes with a Firming Night Cream. So it has pretty much everything that you need in terms of hygiene. And then it comes with this cute little bag as well. So it has like a pocket on the side. It's really deep. It's a really cute bag. So I purchased this and I think I paid about $15 for it. I want to remind you that this alone is like $9. So I purchased this mostly to keep at the second location I will be staying in come January. Just to have some skincare, body wash obviously, some makeup wipes if I need them. And then I'm going to be using this cute bag that it all came in um, at my new job. I'm going to keep this as my kind of like office bag, like emergency, <clears throat> pardon me, as my like emergency bag at the office because I feel like it's a good size. It's like nondescript, it looks normal, it just kind of looks like a lunch bag. It has a zipper on it, which I really like. So that was the first thing I got. Done. Okay, cotton rounds. I picked up some cotton rounds again because they were on sale. These are the Quo Beauty Luxury Cotton Facial Pads. Let's get this out of here because it's the heavy thing. Mouthwash. Everyone loves a mouthwash. This is Colgate Total Anti-Cavity Fluoride Mouthwash. We need some fluoride in here. In your products. Okay. I picked this up. So this is from Shoppers. This is the Mascara Discovery Set. So it's pretty similar to those Sephora ones. Except it's at Shoppers and Canadians can get it and redeem it. So this was $45. And in here you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mini mascaras, and then a redemption coupon for a full size of one of the eight. So again, eight mascaras for $45. And I would like to point out that this has the new Benefit Fan Fest mascara. This mini mascara on its own retails for $18. So if you purchase two of these mini mascaras, you've paid for the whole set. So you might as well get eight mini mascaras and a redemption for a full size. So these are what they look like and they're pretty good size as well. I also purchased this for the main reason that it has lash class in it, lash clash in it from YSL and I would like to try that 
and that's probably what I'll redeem it for. So excited for this. Okay, what else do I have? From e.l.f. I caved. I got them. I got the highlighter and contour um, in their wand. I got the highlight in champagne. Oh, it's right at the top. And the contour in medium tan. I'm really excited to try these. I cannot wait. Also from e.l.f. I picked up one of their eyeshadow primers, again, to keep for my getting ready in the train bag or at another location. And I also picked up some clear brow gels. So this first one is from Essence. It's the Fix It, uh, Fix it Like a Boss Transparent Brow Gel. And then there's this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This was on like clear out, so I picked up one of those. I'm not picky with the brows, I just need a brow gel, a clear one. Also to keep in my work bag that I just showed you, I picked up a small pack of wipes. These are from Neutrogena, just in case I need a wipe my face at work on the way from work, something like that. In terms of hair care, I picked up a Pattern Beauty leave-in conditioner. Pattern Beauty is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart now, not in every location, uh, but they are online. And I'm almost out of one of these, so I had to get another one. I did already have one in my collection, but now that I'm going to be staying at two places, I need two leave-in conditioners. Okay. I picked up Ariana Grande van Mod Vanilla. When I first smelled this, I wasn't sure how I felt. But I like it. Is it my favorite vanilla that's ever existed? No. Would I pay full price for this? No, I would not either. But I got this for $20. So for $20, I'm quite happy with it. I think the bottle is cool, but very hard to, it's going to be very difficult to store and where I keep my perfumes. But for $20, it's nice. It's kind of like, it's like a Bath and Body Works spray, really. And I do get like a strong alcohol hit from this at first, but once it dries down, it's, it's pretty decent. And this is a hundred milliliter size. I think it only comes in the one size unless you get like the mini mini ones. I picked up a Shiseido lash curler. This is my favorite lash curler and I already have one of these but again I'm gonna be in two locations so I need a second lash curler because that's not something I want to forget. You know what I mean? From uh, Eucerin, actually it's the brand, I picked up a few things. So the first thing is a healing ointment. This is for dry cracked skin. I want to use this as like a hand cream for before bed, but you can pretty much use it anywhere. And then I also picked up this Complete Repair Foot Cream. Because I'm working again and on my feet for like eight hours at a time, I think it's important to have this. I just noticed this has an expiry date on it, which is really interesting. But foot mask, take care of your feet, people. I hate feet so much, so I beg, take care of your feet. Okay, coming down to the bottom of it, I got my mother a Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade Berry. This is her favorite lip product. I have never had one of these, but I bought my mom like three of them. She's going to get that for Christmas. Okay, I saw these, and these look so fun, but I don't know if they're going to work. These are from Ardell, and these are naked extensions. for up, So they're at-home lash extensions for up to two weeks of wear. They're semi-permanent, waterproof, and there's tweezers included. Like, they're basically cluster individual lashes that should last for two weeks. And it has like the glue and things. I might do a video on these because I, you guys know, it's gonna be very interesting to see me try to put on lashes, but I think it looks, it seems so interesting. And there's 56 not free lashes. So I imagine with one pack, you could probably get like five, maybe even like 10 sets out of it. Cause if you only use five lashes, like I can't imagine I'm gonna put more than three maybe or five on one eye. So you should get quite a lot of uses. So this is probably the most exciting thing after those elf wands. I also picked up something from Indeed Laboratories. I've never tried this before, but this is the Nano Bronze Bronzing Drops. So it's pretty much the same as those Drunk Elephant Drops, 
but I I don't buy from Drunk Elephant. So I wanted to grab these instead and a lot of people were saying these were a dupe. So these say it's an instantly blurring, bronzing, and hydrating formula. Nano Bronze provides an immediate sun-kissed appearance and long-lasting glow while simultaneously helping to protect skin from pollution. That, I don't know. But it says add one to two drops to your preferred moisturizer and apply to the face. So I'm excited to use this because winter is coming and I am already getting pale. So, okay, I have the receipts, you don't need that, don't ever want to see those. The last thing in this giant bag was an eyeshadow palette. So I would like to remind you that I have not purchased eyeshadow palettes for a long time. In today's video, you are going to see a handful of eyeshadow palettes. And yes, I have said in the past, I don't want any more eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to ask you to respectfully zip it. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Something just made a noise in here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, cute. Okay. So anyways, I picked up this eyeshadow palette. And it's from Lorac. I've never tried anything from Lorac. So if you didn't know and you're Canadian, you can get some Lorac products on the shopper's website. So I saw this and what I thought of it was... Oh wow, that's beautiful. That's new to me. It's a mostly metallic palette. This would be great for getting ready on the go, i.e. on the train, to go into work. And also, because I have no attachments to it yet, if it did so happen to break on the train, I would not be as upset about it as I would be if an attached Denona palette broke. That was me. You're welcome. For uh, telling you how I justify this to myself. So this is the Lorac Petite Pro, Pro Palette. Sorry, I thought that's a Petite Pro Palette in Noir. And it's a nice good size here too. So in comparison to the Dior Lip Glow, like it's not like overly gigantic like I thought it would be. So it worked even better for my Get Ready on the Go palette. It has a mirror in it. And then these, oh, sorry, the sun is coming. These are the stunning shades. And y'all know I love a metallic, so the fact that there's only six mattes in here, love to see it. Look at all these metallic options. I think it's stunning, and I think the mattes are a great choice as well because you have something light here to set primer or to use look. You have a deep shade, it's like a, a black and brown, it's not quite a black, but it's still really pretty. And the textures look really nice, so you have something light, you can intensify it. I'm really excited. I really want to use this. I haven't even touched it yet. Um, and I, I think it would be interesting to compare this to the Makeup by Mario palette. Let's do that quickly because I still have that right here. Because I feel like some of the tones in the shimmers might be similar. Probably not going to be the exact texture, but I imagine the tones will be somewhat similar. Can you see? I can't tell if you can see. Yeah. I feel like this middle row in Lorac and even this one by my pointer finger are quite similar. So if you've been thinking about this Makeup by Mario palette and it's not in your budget, which I completely understand because it is outrageously expensive, maybe this Lorac Noir could be an option for you. And I'm pretty sure I've seen that these Lorac palettes are magnetic. Like the pants are removable, so let's try it. <gasps> they indeed are. So even better. Oh, there's holes to poke it out at the back, but you can't get to the holes. Just want to point that out there, but I'm, I have a magnetic pen thing, but the pants are magnetic, which means you can move them around. I love to see it. All palettes should be magnetic like that. That's what I got from Shoppers. Let's now move on to Miss Laura Geller. Oh, I just smacked myself. Did you see that? So Miss Laura Geller, I stumbled upon her website because I was looking for a glowy blush and like a blush and bronzer situation because I didn't want to pay the prices for the uh, Bare Minerals bronzers. 
And when I was on her website on a random Tuesday or whatever, I saw that she was doing a sale for 60, six, zero percent off. And then me being me, before I check out, I always search for a discount code. Lo and behold, there were codes for an additional 40% off. So let me see those numbers again. 60% off plus an additional 40% off. And something funny happened with Zora. So I made my order with cash back, by the way. I made my order and I, it was quite a big order. And then I realized the morning after that I forgot to put in my apartment number and the address. And I was like, oh shoot, depending on who's shipping it, it might not deliver. So I emailed them. I said, hey, I put the wrong, I didn't put in an apartment number. Can you please include it? They're like, nope, sorry, it's too late. Keep in mind, this was like hours later. They said, no, it's too late. Um, do you want a refund or a store credit? And I was like, oh, um, well, I'll take a refund then. So then what I did is I placed another order, made it a little bit smaller, but I placed another order. But also in the first order that I made that got refunded, I got a voucher code to use for another purchase. But what had happened was <laughs> the first order that got refunded ended up being with a courier and not our national carrier. So the courier just left it in our mail room. So that package showed up and then the package that I used with the voucher code from the first order showed up and then my replacement order that was a small order also showed up and there were many duplicates because some things were duplicates. So what had happened was thankfully my mother and her book club friends are putting together um, baskets and donations for women suffering from domestic violence and escaping domestic violence. So I put a lot of stuff in those bins to be donated. And I've kept some things I originally ordered for myself. So great thing came out of it. Shout out to Laura Geller for giving me my money back and then allowing me to donate some products. But with that be being said, there's still a bunch of products. And actually I just remembered that I put something somewhere else. So I'll be one second and I'll grab that other one to start with. Okay, I also fixed the curtains. So hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. So this is the first product I got, and this is what gave me the voucher for the second order. So this is the Laura Geller Best of the Best Tuscan Dreams curated box. So it's a little bit chunky, but a lot of her things are chunky because her products are baked, so they're domed, so things need to be a little bit thicker to accommodate that. But this is the palette. So it comes with six eyeshadows, a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer, allegedly. This is not going to bronze me, and I, I couldn't really tell from the photos, but this can be another blush bronzer. I'll have to mix it with those or a face powder. These are stunning. Like, I think we all need to be looking at Laura Geller a little bit more than we are currently because these are stunning. I haven't used any of these products yet, but just the way they look and they feel, like they're so soft. I think that highlighter might be a little bit light for me. But maybe if I mix it in with this wannabe bronzer, I'm not going to swatch everything, but like, maybe that will bronze. <gasps> Hold on. But like, do you see how nice and smooth, like they're glowy without being over the top. And then, so I swatched the matte shadows in here. They don't swatch very well, so I'll only swatch the shimmery shades. You think they're going to be boring and subdued? No, girl. They bring the sparkle. They are so beautiful and sparkly and smooth. I am like over the moon with the first impressions on these products just by looking at them. So I got that. How do I want to tackle this box? Let's move over to brushes and slowly go one by one here or category by category. I got some brushes because all these brushes were about seven dollars each so this first one is a full face powder brush it's like a dual fiber then we have the classic bronzer brush this is in the same shape if not the exact same brush as the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush this is a angled blush brush and they're all very soft they're all synthetic 
and then we have a dual-ended blush and bronzer precision brush. So a blush brush, and I'd probably use that for highlighter because I can't imagine putting blush on with that. But I do love dual-ended blush. And then again, something to keep in my work bag. This is the retractable airbrush kabuki brush. Cute. So those are the brushes. Next, let's talk about some eye products. So there is a waterproof gel eyeliner pencil, smudge proof, transfer proof, life proof in the shade beige to beige. So just a nice brightening color. I'm not going to open this because I currently have a beige eyeliner open. There's that. There is a skin perfecting waterproof eye primer in the shade spackle. Oh, JK, it's in the shade universal. Another eye primer. Oh, I should say, I got these pro some products in a bundle. These two are in a bundle. I don't think I would have bought these on their own, but I have them because they were in a bundle. I got two mascaras. One was in a bundle, one was a gift of purchase. So these are the Always There Lengthening Waterproof Mascara. Got two of those. Never used a waterproof mascara, so looking forward to that. Also in the bundle was a this. Uh, I almost said Laura Geller. Obviously, we're talking about Laura Geller. This Kajal Long Wear Eyeliner in the shade Smoky Quartz Coal. This is beautiful. I swatched this on my hand yesterday, and when they say budge proof, they, they mean it. Like, once this set down, I was washing my hands and rubbing it, and it wasn't coming off. And the color is so beautiful. Like, I'm tempted to get more of these. Because you all know my shadow stick battle. I'm going to test this on my eye. Eyes. I have more than one. To see if it performs well on the eyes. If it does, I might have to get more of those. Okay. On to lips. So one of these was in a bundle. The other ones I picked up because the colors look nice. These are the Jelly Bomb Hydrating Lip Color. So I have one in the shade Just Peachy, In the Buff, and Terracotta Go. So quickly open these up for you. What I don't understand is one of these tubes of these lip products is silver, but the other two are gold, but they're the same products. But I'm kind of tempted to like switch the caps on them and have like a birado moment. But anyways, these are the colors. So here we have Terracotta Go. Then we have In the Buff in the middle. And the one in the silver is... Just peachy. So those are the shades. I'll twist them up a little bit. They look like they're going to be really nice. So my impression is they're just like a tinted lip balm. But they look very appealing to me. Just classic kind of neutral everyday colors. And you know what? I am going to do a biradal moment. Silver caps going on the gold. That looks so much better. If you guys don't mix gold and silver, you need to get into it. Look at how good that looks. Obsessed. Okay, let's move to cheek products. They have this cute little mini. It's so cute. This is the Baked To Go Bronze and Brighten Multipurpose Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. And this is a mini, like I mentioned. This is so cute. You guys are going to be blown away by this. The cap is a lid. Oh, the cap is a lid. The cap has a mirror on it. So when you're actually on the go, you can use the mirror, albeit it's small, but it's better than nothing. And you just twist it off, and that's where the bronzer is. And the top is a sponge tip brush. Now, I don't know if I'd use this, if I'm being honest. It's like a spongy material. But the fact that there's a I mean, I'm probably not going to use this on the go, but that's the shade, by the way, shade medium. But like, how creative is that, that there's a lid on the product itself? Uh, a mirror on the product itself, Jesus. Okay, I also grabbed this highlighter. I wasn't sure what to expect with it, but it's a baked highlighter duo, and it's a split pan. So it has French vanilla and Portofino in it. So this French Vanilla is the same color that's in the face palette I showed you, but Portofino is not in that palette. 
So we have Portofino at the top and French Vanilla down here. So French Vanilla looks like it's a, almost like a matte highlighter, like it's really subtle. Whereas Portofino is more of like your standard highlighter. So maybe I'll just end up mixing them together and making them work like that. Um, so we'll see. I'll have to play around with it. But it does seem a little bit light, the French Vanilla, so I'm going to have to work with her a little bit. Let me move some stuff over. Okay. More cheek products. Let's talk about blush. I got two shades. These are both the Baked Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blushes. This first one is in the shade Tropical Peach. And it's a matte color. And then the second one is in the shade Sunswept. And Sunswept is a gorgeous kind of coral color. So hold them up next to each other. And there are so many colors in these blushes as well. I'll try and swatch them, but I mean, blushes don't really swatch that great to begin with. And I just love the marbling on them. They're so beautiful. Okay. So we have Tropical Peach on top and Sunswept on the bottom. Sunswept is definitely giving like glowy bronzer vibes, but that is with a concentrated swatch, so keep that in mind. It is gorgeous. I would be even stunning as an eyeshadow. Next we have some... This is the other one. Some Baked Blush and Bronze Marbleized 2-in-1 products. So this is truthfully what I was looking for when I was making this order and then I kind of stumbled upon everything else, if I'm being honest. So these are blush and bronzer combinations. This first one is in the shade Ginger Bronze. And the second one is in the shade Earthy Bronze. Again, here they are next to each other. The Ginger Bronze and Earthy Bronze. We'll do some quick switch these swatches too. I'm so excited to use these. Okay, so we have earthy bronze here and ginger bronze down here. I think those tones look beautiful for like a blush bronzer hybrid. And because I went a little bit crazy, this is the Baked Body Frosting Face and Body Glow in the shade Tahitian Glow. This to me is just like a bronzer. It looks so good. And everything is so soft and smooth. Like, I can't believe it. And that is Tahitian Glow. Like, these are making me excited for summer. And I know, as I'm filming this, it is November 2nd. But I'm ready for summer. <laughs> okay, and the last base product I got is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. I got mine in the shade Golden Medium. So this is supposed to be a powder foundation of sorts. And I haven't used a powder foundation in a very long time. So I wanted to try it out. Again, going back to the ease of getting ready on a train in the morning to see like, can I just use this with a brush under my eyes and be off to the races? That might be a little bit dark. <laughs> Shoot. I really tried to color match myself online. That might be a little bit dark. But again, that's a built up swatch. So maybe if I, no, it still looks a little, a little bit dark. But it has coverage, like hot diggity dog, but I think it's too dark. So that might be a face powder. So I really wanted to just use this concealer. Well, I'm gonna try it regardless. And if I like it, maybe I'll get a new one. And then I saw on their website some eyeshadow palettes. And they look gorgeous, like gorgeous, gorgeous. So this first one is called the Delectables. I think this, this one and the next one are part of the holiday collection. So these are all baked eyeshadows and these are like warm toned 
honey shades. Kind of like a mauve undertone to some. They look stunning. I'll quickly swatch a few. Okay, these are not the best for swatching because of the shape of the packaging. But like, these so for real. I don't know where to put them. It's so hard to get my finger in these because of my nails. Hold on. I really tried, but I can't really fit my fingers in them. Like, do you see just the smooth sheen shine to them? And it's not like they're satin, like they're very much metallic shadows and they're just, they just feel so good. So, so, so good. So that was the Delectables. Oh, this one's also called the Delectables. Oh, JK. This one's called Champagne Cheers. <laughs> this one's called Pink Prosecco. Oh, no, not again. So shade just popped out. I'll have to glue that back in. This is what Pink Prosecco looks like. So just pretty much the same thing, but just with some pink tone shades. So depending on your preference in eyeshadow coloring, there's a few options. Oh, I can't believe that shadow fell out. Okay, I tried to swatch a few here. You can kind of see them out the side of my hand. Again, just super shiny, reflective, gorgeous shades. Be really careful with that shadow. Lord have mercy. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about is probably one of the most exciting things, to be honest. I'm really disappointed, though, that this face powder is too dark. Who would have thought gold and medium would be too dark? Anyways, this is an eyeshadow palette in collaboration with the Wheel of Fortune. I love the Wheel of Fortune. Such good memories with it. And this palette, I think they did a really great job with the execution of this palette. Like, stop. Stop it. The shape of it, too. And the fact that they imprinted Laura Geller in the pans, like the letters on... <laughs> love it but this color story looks gorgeous so I was interested in this as well because it's not baked like the shadows in these palettes they're just regular pressed powder shadows and the color story is gorgeous so I mean I'm excited to play with this this is very much a Tyra color story so that's what I got from Laura Geller crazy eh but when I'm telling you that 60% plus 40%, it hit hard. Girlie, she hit hard. She she hit hard. The last thing I'm going to share with you is a, a cute little Sephora order. You know, I'm never happy with just one or two orders during the Sephora sale. I always have to do a few. So I picked up some hand masks. I got two of them. These are the mango hand masks from the Sephora collection. I don't like dry hands. And winter's coming up, so I'm going to save these for when I'm having a real bad hands day. And just lather up. I also purchased this. This is the Sephora Overnight Hydrating Mask. I heard great reviews about this. I think I picked up one of these for my dad. But I want one for myself as well. Probably to uh, keep in his place. So I have that. The samples in here, uh, this one I didn't pick. But they sent the Drunk Elephant B Goldie Bright Drops. I think I picked a perfume instead of that, but they sent the Tatcha Water Cream, which I did pick. And then I picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Balm Trio. This, I was just scrolling Sephora app one day, laying in bed as I, was about, as, I, as I was about to get up at like 6.30. And I had been waiting for this to come back in stock. So I was just scrolling on my loves list, seeing what's up, seeing what can be removed. And I saw that this said add the basket. So you bet your bottom dollar I added it to the basket and I checked out. So this is the Ever Elusive Summer Fridays Lip Balm Set. I think this is now completely off the website. So this has three flavors in it. It has vanilla, cherry, and iced coffee. And also, when I opened this up, I found a fun little surprise. There's a sample of the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, which I thought was like really nice. Because if you imagine like gifting this to someone, they get a little bonus in it. So Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask, I tried this years ago and my skin did not like it. My skin in fact had a reaction to it, but I am willing to try it again. 
<laughs> but anyways, this is what the tubes look like. So these are three full size tubes. There's, I caught it. I caught it. Don't worry. There's 15 grams of product in here. So they're just slightly tinted lip balms. And I, I have to see if the hype is real around these. Like, it, I finally gave into the hype because it came in a set because of the Sephora sale. I thought now's the chance to see if they're worth it. And then this is something I noticed a while ago, but I was debating if I wanted to pick it up. This is the Maison Margiela replica by the Fireplace perfume set. So in here you get a 10 milliliter travel size, a 30 milliliter bottle, and a 7 milliliter dabber. So in total you're getting 47 milliliters of perfume. This is what they look like. And I think this retailed for $140, so I got 20% off of that. And this scent is divine. Like, everyone loves it for good reason. It is a fantastic fragrance. So these are all the products that I got in part two of my collective haul. What I really need to do is fix that eyeshadow that fell out. And uh, that's it. That's all the shopping. The only other planned purchase I have coming up is from Huda Beauty. For her Black Friday sale, I would like to get some lip liners and maybe see what else is on sale sale. So that's everything. You should not expect a haul anytime soon after this. This is it. I'm done. Done! Uh, but yeah, let me know what you want to see a video on, if anything. I think I might do a full face Laura Geller video because I have eyeshadows, lip products, liners, bronzers, blush, highlighter a concealer powder that's going to be too dark which is really disappointing but i i have enough to do a full space of laura geller and let me know if you want to see a video on the laura geller eyeshadow palettes the rock palette i might do a video on these glow ones from elf like there's just there's a lot but what i can tell you what i'm definitely going to do is a video on these lashes so you better subscribe to see me fight with some eyelashes but that is everything that I have for you folks today. Hopefully you enjoyed this gigantic haul. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see all of these products in action. Yeah, that's everything. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.